Hi fam, it's from Mr. Vasen here again with another awesome tutorial. Okay guys, in this tutorial, this is a five layer text effect. Okay, so it involves a lot, quite a lot. So guys, it's going to be very much fun. So guys, sit back, relax and enjoy. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do for me. Hit the subscribe button and the bell notification button so you get notified each time i drop an awesome video like this so guys without further ado let's get started I'm start by um wiping everything off so i'll head over to the project interface here so uh, i just timed or themed it project interface because we shouldn't be calling this background and background so i click the white um white uh, project here and everything is gone now so what i want to do is head over to background interface now so use the image resize tool to change the ratio or the dimension of this to the same as that of the text effect so the dimension is 16 ratio 9 which is here i have 25 that is 25 60 14 40 so it's just 16 ratio 9 so you can have i think a 1 10 80 by 720 so this is the dimension and then went over to the color to change the by color of the background so i have the color i just click on the color to use the plus look i like to although that's the color to and then click on the pencil look i like to and then this is the color code i just deleted it now i went over to my clipboard and this is the background color here i'm gonna be very much um peculiar or particular about the color code here so you guys should note each of the color code because it's very much paramount that you note the color code we have them right and this test effect is is ready already so you have e eight E, e, e that's three e and then you have seven so i'll click okay and okay and okay so this is the color of the background i'm not gonna add the background text first let's get the text effect then we'll add the text i added on the background so i'll click okay now use the plus button text and then draw to the extreme draw this now and then double tap on it and type in my text which is which says cool so i'll type cool and i'm gonna click okay and then i'm gonna draw this now Head over to alphabet interface and then head over to font and then head over to recent. I probably must have used the font. So the font is bell gate. So I'll click OK. And then we are going to pad this now. So this is the padding to here on the alphabet interface. Looks more like an L. So we'll pad a little of left. We can pad left six and then we'll pad right very much well. So it has space here. So we can leave at 58. And then we have so this is six and fifty eight now so this is great now so what we want to do now is make this text in form of um, a three D so we'll start with the three D two now so we head over to the three D two here on Pizzle Lab here so you have the three D two I'm gonna own it I've taught you guys once you own the three D just head over to the Simulate Lightning straight away and then off it so you, we have the Simulate Lightning off now and then what I'm gonna do is reduce the depth extrusion we can just leave it at eight for now and then shift to oblique because it's oblique we'll be needing to to do the this text effect particularly so we have oblique now and then we'll switch from auto to gradient because the gradient color we're going to be using is this one you see here but i'm going to create it from um, a start okay so don't be scared okay it's going to look scary see um so i'm going to create it for a start now so we we'll leave it at a gradient and then we we'll remove this darken because we'll not be needing it darken means it's darkening it's adding black to whatever color you add as the 3d extrusion color so this is darkening to zero and then this angle we can keep it somewhere around 227 or 228 okay so this is great let's just leave at 228 okay so this is perfect now okay so i think we'll have the extrusion proper we'll have the um depth okay and we'll have the perspective fine i think we are cool with this 3d now so then it's, it's time for us to create the color don't bother about this color here let me just change the color first so you are not scared about the color you see there let's just use the white and black color because this is the color i'm going to use to create our own now I'll click ok and then i have this 3d extrusion now so we head over to color of this 3d extrusion and then change to this same gradient color now i choose for this let's head over to gradient this same white gradient i choose for this now so this is the same white gradient to have you don't bother you might not be seeing it clear we're going to add shadow to it okay 
So I have the text now and then I'm going to use the plus button. The gradient arrangement we are going to be using is this now. So this one that the color is facing um vertical to each other okay so i'll tap on this black one then use the color tool here the pencil look i like to delete the color code i have the color codes on my clipboard here so you guys should note them as i'm gonna be calling them okay so this is the the first blue color okay so where is it second layer gradient blue okay so this is the first blue color now zero seven twelve five c zero seven twelve five c so i'm just gonna delete this and then i'm gonna click ok and you see that is the first blue click ok and then there is our first blue i'm gonna draw this white extreme here and then use the color tool here to paste in the white and then delete this it's not gonna be white but just a bright blue okay so this is the um bright blue here not this sorry guys so this is the bright blue here eight eight e7 ff okay note the color code 88 e7 ff so this is it here okay and okay and okay so i have this here so i'm going to duplicate this the plus two and then paste it somewhere here duplicate again paste it somewhere here so i'm going to tap on this one the color two pencil look i like to delete this color i have here and then this is the color here this color i called initially 0712 5c I've pasted it. I'll click OK and OK. I have that for this. OK again. And then on this one again, paste the same color, which is the 07125C, which is this. I just pasted it. This is my clipboard. It's more of something you can copy and keep it there. So I have this. Now I'm going to duplicate this um, bright one and then keep it here. And then use the color tool again and then paste the same color, which is AA. Which is A A E seven F F. Okay, okay, okay. To so have this here, we we'll duplicate again plus keep here, and then this one this time around is gonna be the dark one. So I'm gonna delete this and paste this other one. Okay, okay, okay. So we we'll have this here. Plus button, keep here. This one is gonna be bright, and then. A -A 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 -A. that's the a a e7 ff that's the color code pay attention to this color code with them you're gonna have this text effect exact and looking nice okay so this one is gonna be the dark one okay so uh, which is 07125c okay so it's i'm done with this nine it's eight color plates here now this is eight color plate this is not the 10 the one of 10 so we are going to make this to look gradual you see it's not looking gradual so make sure they are looking gradual okay that's the spacing between them are not far from each other that's what i mean by that so something like this is great we can bring this a little closer here so i'll click okay and then i have my color now so what i want to do next is click okay now head over to the 3d and then to that gradient now i was telling you about you see it here i have the colon and add it now so this is great now i'll click ok and then i went over to the stroke tool you can see that this um let me log this and explain what i want to do you can see that this um, gradient extrusion is not sharp but then i'm going to head over to this tap on it now head over to the stroke tool on the same alphabet interface now and add a stroke to this you now see that the extrusion will now be sharp you see i have a sharp extrusion but then it's a dark color so what you want to do is from color let's tap on this from color on the stroke you just on to gradient instead of from color to gradient and then this same gradient color is what you're going to use and then you're going to add enough stroke width you're going to add enough stroke width you're going to add enough stroke width so you can add around 34 Okay, so we'll leave this stroke with at 34 and we are good with this now so this is it for the extrusion and the text so this is it i'm gonna tap on the text now so what is left to is to add the shadow and then the other text layer i told you guys earlier it's a five layer um text effect so i have this now what i want to do is to the um shadow now shadow two i'm gonna on the shadow and then the shadow color is gonna be the color we used for this gradient arrangement that's the dark one that's the seven zero seven twelve five c so I'll delete this zero i have here and then zero seven five c 
okay and okay and okay that is the color for the shadow now so what we want to do now is add the shadow of the one that is bright and then the, the one that is very much blood and then the one that is thick okay so we'll start from this one that is very much blood so we increase the blow radius of this to 25 and then we reduce the opacity to around 70 something the opacity to around 75 and then we are going to reduce the offset of this to just minus five okay so we have an offset of minus five then we're going to increase offset of y to 18 or 19 okay so this is great now so you click okay and then copy this again we'll copy this again place it somewhere here so it looks exact with this now It looks exact with this make sure it's lapping very well so you don't notice whether there is a shift everything is proper okay so i think it's lapping now i may not be seeing it clear but i hope i'm i'm, I'm perfect on what i'm doing okay so this is great so what we want to do now is reduce the uh, shadow settings on this second one we we'll just copy it now so the shadow settings of this one is going to be uh, 89 for here we are going to increase the um, shadow opacity to 89 so we want something darker that is this trick now i'm going to teach you guys then the blur reduce you're going to reduce it a little bit so this is with this pattern you can add shadows that look more realistic than using one shadow that is one layer shadow okay so this is the two layer shadow we're trying to create so we'll have a blur radius of the shadow of eight and then offset of y which just be minus three and then the offset of x not y then offset of y we increased now we're going to reduce it to just six okay so this is great you see i just created a more realistic shadow effect i think this is cool now i'm going to mark the two text and then bring them down so i have space here so i think this is great i'm going to move it left bring down a little more Okay, so this is perfect now. So what we want to do now is copy this first, this one now that is at the top. Let's lock it first. And then we're going to copy it now. Bring to the front. And then remove the extrude because we'll not be needing the extrude anymore. So off the extrude now. And then let's on it first. On the extrude, make sure it's lapping well before you off it. Make sure you have everything lap well. Okay, it's lapping well now. So off the extrude. And then remove the shadow effect for now we're going to add it back but then we we'll remove it and change the color to this plain color now this color this zero this is this zero seven twelve five c that's the color code we use so we head over to stroke and add the same color to the stroke plain not gradient this time so this is the same color to the stroke now so i told you guys we'll on back this shadow so we'll go to on it back now but then this time around we we'll reduce the blur radius to zero because we don't need the blur radius i call it shadow stroke because that is what it looks like so these settings we are going to reduce them going to reduce f x settings let's just leave this at minus one and then the y There of the y will be will be just two okay so we use the plus button to add this um color the color we have here so i'm going to delete this and then we are going to look for the first layer shadow stroke first text layer shadow stroke so this is the color it it's d d7 ff so that's the color so this is the color now click ok and ok and okay so this is what i have i think we'll, we'll have to increase the white text a little more okay so we'll leave this at y offset of four and then x offset of just minus one okay, so this is great now i'm gonna copy this again this one at the top let's lock it first and then we'll copy it again and this time around we are gonna reduce the stroke we're gonna reduce the stroke amount so we'll reduce the stroke amount so possibly let's just keep the stroke amount to possibly 15 and then keep it and see what we we'll have okay, i think as 15 is great and then we'll click ok and then we'll head over to this shadow stroke i like i called it head over to shadow because we'll change the color of this shadow to something much less brighter okay we we'll use plus button uh, pencil look i like to delete this color code we we'll have here now and then use the um 
color here i have it here fourth layer text shadow stroke which is this fourth layer shadow stroke color which is this 0b67 ff 0b67 ff remember capital letter so click ok and ok and ok so this is the color here i think this is great i don't think we'll add more of effects on this again we're gonna leave this like this and then we'll, we'll move it so it laps really well okay it's very perfect so we'll move this here and bring it down and up a little so this is great we'll copy it again and then lock this so i told you guys it's a five layer text effect so we'll have the four layers so this is the fifth layer and then this is where it's gonna end okay no much stress again so we'll have this now and then I have this here. So what I want to do is reduce the stroke on this one again. So the stroke width wave is 15. So we can reduce the stroke to just 6 or 5. So we'll leave it at 6 for now. So possibly if we'll see it's not okay, we could reduce more. Okay, we'll click OK. And then let's let's change the shadow color before we click OK. So the shadow color is going to be white. And the main color is also going to be white. That's F, 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 F. That's 6 F. And then the main color also is going to be white. So I have my main color now as white also. And then what will now bring out the effect we are looking for is this inner shadow. On the inner shadow, you see what I wanted to do on this. Now you see what it looks like. So we'll leave the blur reduce of the inner shadow to 3. And then the offset, we're not going to offset it for now. Let's just reduce the opacity. That's this third slider, which means opacity of the inner shadow to somewhere here. So it looks less um, thick like it is somewhere here now i think this is looking okay we'll bring it more and then we'll, we'll just offset it to x x and then we'll offset to just x remove the y offset we'll just offset it to just x okay so an x offset of just one for this is cool we'll click ok and then let's let's see what let's open the inner shadow so you see what the variables looks like you see where i place the transparency and then you have a blur reduce of three x offset of one and the color is black okay so you, you could change the color to the fff okay anyone you feel is okay let's just change the color to the 07 c that's this color now 07 12 5c okay it's the same thing no much different okay so this is what we have now i think this is looking much better and um we're gonna click ok and then head over to this shadow stroke we added we know you know we we'll copy this from this now we we'll copy this from this so it's gonna have this shadow stroke you see it here so we are gonna off it shadow off it now and then we'll place it till it's lapped here something like this okay so this is looking perfect now so I think what's left now is the cool we wrote on the background. Okay, so I'm gonna copy one of these. Click OK. I'm gonna copy one of these. Remove the inner shadow effect. Remove the stroke effect. And then double tap on it. Okay, probably it's cool we wrote here. Sorry. So we'll go change the uh, text font. And color so we head over to font recent i probably must have used this autograph because that is the font that looks this this coily stuff so we change the color to this um 0725 c so i have color and then i've worked on it so we use this and then increase the slider this is the 0725 c okay and then we increase the text a more increase it a more something like this and then we'll click OK, reduce the opacity to just 10 or 15. No one that dims you fit. Just keep it at 12. And then send it to the back. Send it to the back. OK, this is it, guys. Very easy and simple, OK? So, guys, go try your own. It's simple and fun to design. So, guys, keep creating. Thanks for watching. And see you guys next Wednesday.